aggressively to begin with and just doing regular checkups and after a while they had full control over the map so there's no force really coming out of dignitas other than a sheriff and the ghost but no planting means that money is just not going to be ideal for them to get anything more Aggressive hit coming through. Paranoia is going to come out. The one-way dark cover is actually more favorable, though, for PK as Zip is able to find First Blood again. But this time, Odorous is able to respond to keep things level at four apiece. But a natural weapon advantage will mean that Dignitas still have a lot to fight up against. Death will find one, but can't convert more than that. Now here comes the hit. Dignitas on the way through. Paranoia clearing out tree. Odorous isn't going to see anything. Cloudburst goes down. In this Cloudburst is Ronaldo, though. And he's able to just barely find the connection onto Odorous. So the spike will be planted. We've got a 2v3 situation, but none of the Dignitas offensive members have been able to upgrade their pistols at SMGs yet. Flash out. Stop that. Utility going to be used to clear some of these corners, forces Dignitas to play a little bit more onto the site than they were expecting. Lots of flashes with the Breach and the Phoenix and the position of the Omen is being given up. Maka can bring it down though and Super actually wins that engagement. DSR is onto the site. Awkward try to spray with the Ghost and the Jump Peak is going to put him under an intense amount of pressure. Dignitas not really dedicated. Shock Dart close by, Paranoia also being thrown out. And that will be the end of ZK, who was affected by it. Nearly was able to stay alive long enough to get a chance. Psalm going to go to the dismiss just to make sure he can clear out the B site completely. And DSR, hoping for some shock dart trajectories, will not find anything. So we've got ourselves a 4v4. DSR on the way through. It looks like there are a couple of knives still left for Ziff. It's actually maybe just, what, one? And he's got, so he's going to have to find a headshot. DSR looking for some spam, but it's Odorous over through B main to find one. That's going to be a weapon picked up. This is still doable here for PK in a 3v3. Time starting to become more of a consideration, though. Recon there Bolt sent out. That'll get information on one player in the corner. Spam shots are good from Dawn and Ronaldo. Last player left. It's going to be Supa on the site. He does well for two, Ooh. but the last shot connects to Ronaldo on six. Just to try to make sure that Dignitas cannot freely come through B main. Nanostorm is pulled through, and you got to keep your eye in the middle of the map because you've got Supa already pushed into mid market, and as Maka finds one kill, he's going to find another beautiful one taps for Maka. The Leer comes through. Do they read the player in the corner? They don't initially, but no conflict will come through, and Maka will walk away with the Phantom to play with. And as Zip finds one kill over the middle, this will still lead to some dicey engagements right over through B. Dignitas will eventually win the day, but the spike is down, and that's the bigger problem. Ziff didn't really realize where Maka had gone off to, and now it's just down to ZK for a 1v3. Didn't realize that he was going to run right into the spike that was left right into the center of the map. A lot of space taken from Diggs. ZK is going to push for middle, and it, it's a key area for Pittsburgh to keep an eye on because they don't have a tripwire. They don't have an alarm, but the center mid is just going to be open for business. And they've got to constantly just dedicate bodies to keeping an eye on it. Silver Utility is going to be there, and not quite sure if ZK's going to find anything with it, so ZK will be left. forced back over towards the defender spawn. Psalm reads it beautifully, finds the kill. Ronaldo patiently awaits the dismiss. Also has members up top by the hallway. Flashpoint comes through also again, still holding on to the Rolling Thunder. Spike has not been committed yet, but DSR on the site does well. Another flashpoint out. Ronaldo, easy peek. He finds himself a second. Last player over in the corner. And this is the last hope to really try to get the spike planted. Ronaldo able to get the kill. And Makalov just is playing for eliminations at this point, And he can't get the better of Dawn, who will let him know about it. The PK is up early. Because he is one ult charge away from having another run it back. And yeah, true. with the gun that he has, he could make something happen from that. And maybe get a couple of kills, get a couple of guns to his team. Def though is going to take out Dawn and pushing through all the way in mid like this is the big question mark about this composition that Knights are playing. And it's pretty interesting to see that, you know, 10 rounds in, Dignitas seem to have their number on this map. It's going to be such a, I mean, and Dignitas have recognized very quickly that there is an opportunity for them to move through mid map, no problem. Supa's going to have a free kill here, no problem. And he's going to hear the footsteps of another paranoia is going to come through. Tailwinding away will be Ziff, but while all this is occurring, the hero rifle will only find one kill and Dignitas will clean up the final okay. and also get the spike planted. So, yeah, I, I, I think... Knights, they're going to be flashing into mid. A bit of a vision strikers play with all of the space, actually, that the jet has taken. Ziff has gone right into the face of death and that play has worked out. They're in a nice position. They have a good portion of spike control, at least to face it. And this is working out really well from Pittsburgh. DSR is going to make sure that they can't base the fact off they're pushing. They can at least anchor onto these sites too. That Beautiful. was exceptional. Beautiful from DSR to hold his life. Zip, you have to...
It's Weber DSI I can get that information. He can't get a frag. But the front uh, running back is going to be used. Ziff sort of whiffs the second shot, but it can at least get one onto death. And even though we see the Phoenix ZK not getting much information, I'm not getting any frags. He's able to get that intel, and Dawn's happy to face. This is turning into a bit of a, a deathmatch server at this point with where they're playing at this point, but Knights are coming out on top. Well, Ronaldo, you've got uh, no reason to hold on for this Rolling Thunder, so as soon as they read with these last two Dignitas members are, it should be pretty easy punishment, but we'll see. Both hands are currently up for Ronaldo. Looking to see if he can shut down this play. Maka's good for one. A lot of space has been gained. Can he push through this? He stays safe. Checks the angle, but Dawn finds the kill. Odorous left in a 1v3 with just an operator. After Shock will try to flush him out. Dark cover will make his life a little bit extra difficult when it comes to trying to work his way back onto the site. Takes a peek, and Ronaldo will finally get the kill. So it took 12 rounds, but the Rolling Thunder will run into the same setup from the kill drive. The Shock that's going to find a lot of use as well. Dig has actually postured themselves to deal with this so well, and immediately Maka and Death are shutting this down. It, it, this round will likely come to a conclusion here, unless Ronaldo could do something incredible. He does find one kill, and a trade is there for Dawn, but it's just one of those things that there's one of two options if you're the PK right now. The first is to try to catch Dig to toss off guard, gamble stack, don't play for much intel, see if you can sit there and say, Dig the toss learn, could expect it to force by. But when you don't play for information on what the setup looks like, you're running in blindly, and that time they run in brute force into a lot of Dignitas members that were close by. You see where the blue X's are. I mean, one mid-market, the other over by the hallway, and there were still two members that were able to quickly rotate over. So not the spike is down. Dawn's in a pretty impossible 1v3, you feel like, as Digger fully watching this in crossfire fashion. Dawn looking to make his move. Opportunity for one. Shots are de down by three in a round where not everybody can full buy into full armor. You lose this one, you're not just looking at 6'10", you're probably looking at 6 to 11. Oh, Superman almost had two. He saw the barrels of both players, but couldn't quite lock down the transfer. Good help, though, from Death mid-map. And again, the advantages that Dignitas have had in the middle of the map have led to a couple of very pivotal rounds in their favor. 2v2, nice read here from Ziff as he reads the Aldron position, Tailwind's in. Converts the kill. Now it's him and ZK just playing up against Psalm at full HP, but that might be enough. Psalm's able to find one, dismisses a cross as the Cloudburst will block line of sight for a moment, but Ziff, who's only at half HP, is going to be hard-pressed, do you feel like, to have an advantage in any form versus the Reina of Psalm? Bladestorm's available. That's more of the key thing. And this is going to be so tough for Sam to get a read on this, but I like the fact that he's almost just reset completely. Play from the defender spawn, All but timing. Ziff is heading there too. The knife is out though for Ziff. So not only was he low health, he just... Now over to the Sheriff. He's literally stuck in a corner at the moment. DSR will come back to help and they will isolate the pick. Supa now trying to take a player off guard, but CK was ready for it. And we've got ourselves a 5v3 with a big weapon advantage for PK to look for eight. A little bit over egregious from Dignitas, but considering it is a half buy, you would expect that kind of play. I just didn't expect it with the Blade Storm, to be honest, from Odorous. That was very deep. Look at exactly where Dig died in this round. Could be a flawless round coming in from Knights. Sam is going to be anchored onto the B site. He has the right idea, but even with the man advantage to this level for Knights, they're still spread around the map lurking in pretty cute positions. It's whether Sam could get value, left. even just getting one wouldn't be a bad shout, but he is just going to play it slowly. The spray isn't going to be good enough. And Maka wants to at least get one if he can. Yeah, he might just sit here and play for exits if possible. Hot hands will shrug him off the angle. A couple of spam shots being thrown out. Fault line will not fully connect. Double peak, though, potentially coming through, and Makaloff will again just be sitting here and what is this read? But to say he's about to turn just in time to watch Dawn come from behind him, but doesn't fully commit us with the same blade storm up. You need to be dropping this Vandal over to give your full team a good kill potential. Here. From the I shadows, planted. very far back for Super will go over to the spawn, but oh, Dawn was him. ready for it. He hits him at long Here. range, finds the first blood. Still a ton of ultimates available. Zip can't find the right click for a full kill, but those confirm a lot of damage. And so now Dignitas. In a 4v5, do you use the lockdown here? And will you expect Psalm, I think, on the other side 
to come you through this back run. position. There are two members that are going to be here. That's one beautiful kill. Dismisses away from the gunfight, and he's going to have more players pushing out of this. So there's the second kill coming through. The overheal's now in the play. Nekoloff, meanwhile, has found another. Run it back. It's going to come through. Death has found that kill. The retake for Dignitas is absolutely beautiful, and they will confirm the kills and have just enough time to defuse. They'll take map by a nano storm, and then a paint shells behind that will be extra punishing. Odor's able to confirm one kill. Dawn with the shorty in front. He'll find one, but has to go to a reload. And while that happens, Makalov will double up in his own right. So Dignitas once again with the spike planted. Last one left alive will be DSR, and he's stuck with a class that tried to rotate through his spawn. Dig, I think I'll have a little bit lucky there, to be brutally honest. And I'm going to bring up somebody that is currently in a watch party whilst Dignitas clear up the round. Coach Sleggy from Team Liquid. It was yesterday. I can't remember which team it was. Of the pings, just gonna sit here and then rotate over. Shock darts will come through. A little bit of chip damage. This is still valuable. A couple of armors will be broken. So a couple of shots will be off, and now Ziff is gonna keep pigging that. There are three members here. The hunter is fury is gonna be committed here. That's for Dig, and Ziff gets caught lingering on the spy cam for a touch too long. Odorous on the way in finds his second kill. Softball Run tosses over the paint shells as Super takes down Dawn from behind. He'll also clean up Ronaldo, and that was a bit too easy for Dig, considering all the information that... The kids have been decent. The Eldron is going to scout out a bit of information on where ZK is at this point. That's how it goes from here. Dig still left. not convincingly moving anywhere at the moment with only 30 seconds to play. You saw the From the Shadows be used for Super to try to scout things out. Go. And as, unfortunately, Death finds one kill, he won't find more. So now still a 4v3 for PK. But as Odoris finds one kill, needs to find the second. Shots are a little bit all over the place as he tries to go over the top of Hookah. Now there's just not a lot of time. So Mac is forced left. to connect with this fight plan and he will get it down. So a 1v2. And another missed curveball for ZK will result in a free kill. And Maka, who has been great in 1v2's previous... Still here, 5v4, still potentially available for PK. And you've got a long flank for Zip, locking down a potential rotation. Ronaldo, can he find more? Not to be able to connect as there are multiple players nearby. Good recon bolt for valuable information. Zip for one, Zip for two, and PK looking primed to steal away a thrifty. And they really should have been in this position in the first place. Super, he's still alive, but finally ZK will find the kills, and honestly, you can knit. He's going to be committed. A little bit of a game of chicken potentially coming through. His backlop is also committed, but the flank from Dawn and Ronaldo will find three. One enemy but still, I was going to say for a moment, Def and Mako are in a position maybe kind of convert on a couple of kills as they try to rotate around. It's just down to Mako. This would be the most incredible of his clutches if you could find a way to find a 1v4 and abbreviated hell. He oh, yeah, also like... is going to be affected by the fault line, and all of a sudden, PK are just going to overwhelm him here in a moment, you feel like. Retreats into the triple stack. The consideration that their offense will be pretty strong with all the flashes they have available. Well, and Thunder comes through, but it's Def who locks down both players that would have been in a position to follow it up. Nobody clears over through the side of Bath. And now Super's gonna get a free plant, a 5v3, and the biggest retake tool for PK comes up completely empty. Ziff's not gonna find anything over through Lamps. Also the dismiss for Salm as he's able to help bait for Def to come on over. A flawless round for Dig as being trapped there if a hit comes through Hookah. But because Def is a part of that hit and he sends all of these utility to Hookah, they get the read of where the hit comes from and it gives them a chance to exit if they so choose. Now with the superior weaponry, Psalm finds one just outside Lamps through a short. More players are there. Supa's just going to spam and get blessed with the kill. Onto the Psycho ZK. Nothing for him. Supa and Psalm will walk away with four in combination of one another. And then Odorous decides he wants to get involved as he finds the final. And they in there and... Now on a pistol round, they nearly find a confirmation on the death, which could have led to a free rifle, but not going to come through. How? Psalm's going to take advantage by pushing right to the middle of the map. Nobody was watching it, and now Psalm is going to have to be trying to navigate through many, and fortunately, ZK will find a one-tap. That'll be a weapon picked up. The fact that he just found an opening like that more than anything, I don't think it was a case of PK misplaying that, but just um, knowing exactly where he needed to go at that point. You still got supper that's going to be playing in the paranoia still in hand he's going to smoke it off and has odorous playing almost like the steel yeah, angle from this remain. position and he's able to get a third at this point don't trade him out another great shot with the sheriff mechanical aim seems to be a key thing about this team with how many 50 rounds have been able to get but this seems a bridge too far 
the bait from the teleporter has given up for Dawn. He's going to try it himself to see if people catch him. But the recon bolt is going to leave him with a little bit of egg on his face. Death is going to use the smoke that was just planted in there by Dawn. He's going to sort of sit in it, wait for the rotate to come in, play for the retake because the lockdown is available. Odorous gets that sort of lurking player of DSR that's on a mid. Spike is going to get planted, but Digger are in such a strong position. It's going to be very difficult to root boot them from this position, especially with the lockdown in play. An opportunity here, but no, the elbow still won by Dig. Dawn, last hope. Lockdown will expire. He's going to find one. This is still doable. Empress coming through. Paranoia is going to steal some spy. Oh, boy. He's going to get the spam shots through. That's going to do well. He's seeing the pings from his teammates. No connections here. Now the secondary challenge, but he goes through the dark cover. I don't know. He had a good look at this. And again, the pings from his teammates were fine. I just think the fact that he didn't confirm a kill, he got a little bit antsy. And with that, Dignitas are blessed to see. Position in heaven will be covered by a dark cover. Tension turret dealt with. Operator shot goes wide. ZK able to punish. Now all of a sudden, once again, PK are in a position to lock down the A site. Plus, they used it from the shadows for Dawn to get up to make sure that Heaven is indeed clear. He'll sit on the Raptor to make sure it stays that way. ZK pulling aggressively forward. Has a curveball. Hot hands and a blade as well to play with, but doesn't even necessarily need it. Reads information. There's a player nearby, but he does allow Odorus still to find a kill. Shock dart able to chunk. Nice shots for ZK through the dark cover to take down Makalov. But from behind, what happened to his help? It wasn't fully there as Psalm finds one. So maybe a bit unexpected here as all of a sudden Dignitas have a chance to come through. The Rolling Thunder will be committed for PK. It's going to find a lot of value. And DSR will find one kill, but not lock down the second. 2v2. Time starting to become a consideration, but Psalm wins another battle. Dismisses forward. They've got the idea on Ronaldo with. He's being spammed and Super finds the kill. The time is going to be close, but... I'm pretty sure he's got it. Sure he's does. And Dignitas will lock down the second man.